Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the RealLink E1 Zoom to send footage to a Synology FTP server. If this is your first time with us, subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. That being said, let's get started with today's video. So the first thing we need to do is enable the FTP service in the Synology NAS. Then we'll create a folder where we want the footage to be stored. And then finally, we'll create an FTP user. Then we'll jump over to the Reolink E1 Zoom camera settings and I'll show you how to configure the FTP settings inside the camera itself. So as you can see, I'm signed into my Synology NAS. Let's get started by enabling the FTP services on the NAS. So we'll come over to the control panel. And next we're going to click on file services. And then we're going to come over and click on FTP. The only thing we have to do is enable the first two options. And then say apply. Now that we have the FTP service enabled, Let's click on shared folder and let's create a folder where we want the footage to be stored. So I'm going to create and I'll give it a name and I'll call it E one zoom. I'm going to uncheck restrict access to administrators only. And I'm going to click next. We're not going to encrypt it for now. We'll click next. We'll click next again and we'll apply. Now for permissions, I'm going to give myself read write permissions so I have access to it. And then we're going to go ahead and create an FTP user and then we'll apply permissions or access permissions to that FTP user as well. So let's go ahead now and click on user. And we'll create a new user. And we'll call the user FTP underscore user. We won't give it a description or an email, but we'll create a password. And for the purpose of this video, We'll keep it simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the Synology is telling us that's weak. Of course, you would use a stronger password in a real life situation. Let's go ahead and click next. And we want the user to be part of the users group. So we'll click next. And assign shared folder permissions. So what we're going to do is give this user permission to the E1 Zoom folder and click next. And now under application permissions, we're going to allow FTP application and click next. And here we'll click next and then finally say apply. Now let's jump over to the real link camera. Now that we have the Synology NAS set up. So here you can see the image on the camera. I just have it set down on the ground for now. We're going to come over to the right hand corner of the screen and click on the settings cog. We're going to come down over here on the left menu and click on network and then advanced. And then across the top, we're going to select the FTP tab. Here we're going to enter the information we just created on the Synology NAS. So the server itself, is 192.168.25.60. In my case, you would put the IP address of your server in this field here. The FTP port that the server's using is 21. The username that we created is FTP underscore user, and that's the username of that user we just created on the Synology NAS, and the password is 12345678. The upload directory, that's the shared folder that we created. So I called it E1 Zoom. So we'll just enter that here. And then we can come here and we can test the connection before we go ahead and save it. So we'll go ahead and click FTP test. And you can see it says succeed valid FTP configuration. So now we can go ahead and click on OK. So that was it pretty much for the setup. The configuration was really simple. You just got to set the Synology NAS up and then enter those settings over into the real link camera. Now, what we're going to do is test it and see if it works. So I'm just going to get up 
and walk around the studio just to try to trigger motion to get the camera to record. And then we'll jump back over to the Synology and we'll see if the footage is actually there in that folder. All right, now let's see if the footage was sent from the E1 Zoom over to the FTP folder that we set up on the Synology. So now we're back in the Synology. Let's click on the file station and see what we have. Okay, so here's the E1 Zoom folder that we created in the previous step. And you can see inside now we have a couple of items. There's a 2020 folder, and then here's a folder called FTP underscore test, followed by a bunch of numbers. So I bet you that's when we click in the configuration page of the E1 Zoom when we click the test button. Let's open this and see what's inside. And here it is test.txt. And if we open that, it just simply is a simple text file that says, this is a test file sent by FTP underscore user. So it looks like we were successful. Let's go back to the E1 Zoom folder itself at the root level and let's click on 2020. And now we have a folder called 12. So it looks like it's breaking it down by year, month, and yep, and now date. And here we have a couple of files. We have an MP4 file and a JPEG file. So let's open up the JPEG. Okay, so as you can see with the JPEG file, it's just an image of me walking over to the camera. And then let's open up the MP4 file. It downloads it, and here it is. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share the video. And thank you guys for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions, as always. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.